Greetings, this is Vladril and welcome back to Let's Play The Age of Decadence. Alright, we've got a new quest. But I don't want to leave yet until I do the other things. I tried this, it didn't work. Mm, maybe I can uh, speak to someone else to do it, I guess. Alright. Feng seems to be important. And he may have steered us right. As far as the amulet goes. Of course, he made us pay for it. But I don't trust him for some reason. You know, apart that he killed the previous. Uh, Lord Master. I don't want to kill the other guy, so I will just uh, lead him to the Lord and see what happens. I'd like to introduce you to the Master Cassius, which is a personal guest of Lord Antidas. Master Feng asked me to kill him, but as soon as I learned that Lord Antidas was involved, I immediately thought... You thought that Lord Adidas will pay you more to keep Cassius alive. You gain a new insight, two skill points gain... Word of Honor decreased. What? Hmm... I didn't like that. Word of Honor decreased. When did I give uh, my word to that guy? God damn it. I guess that poor guy will have to die. Because I gave my word. And I want my character. Well, my character is a drifter, but. I want to play a sort of straight shooter. Not a warrior loyal, but. Uh, you know. Somewhat more selfish, but not a liar assassin either. I want to walk a middle ground with this character. Fine. Alright, let's kill the poor new lore master. And see what happens. Because I'm sure. There may be repercussions for that too. You aren't getting it, are you? If you stay here, you will die. Do you want to wake up every day, wonder if today is the day? Do you want to live in fear, never knowing where the assassin will strike? No, I don't. I live. Cool. I'm not sure uh, that was what Feng wanted, but uh, I guess we'll see. Cassius is no longer a problem. Uh, here's the money I promised, but I owe you a lot more than I paid you. I must forgive an old man his habits, so I'd like you to take a look at this. Those were ring. It's heavy silver ring covered with so softly glowing runes. While the metal feels cold to the touch, the glowing runes burn your fingertips. The famous magic ring of General Galbo. Mm, the ring was, was crafted by the Council of Magi to grant the general special powers. Mm. I'd give it to you for free. <laughs> That guy, that guy is <laughs> amazing. Gives me 60 Imperials for uh, taking the problem uh, for him, but wants 100 uh, to get the ring. That's really funny. 
Fantastic, fantastic character so far. Sofric is my favorite character and... Uh, we'll see. Maybe we won't have uh, more interaction, but uh, he's a great trader. Awesome, awesome guy. Uh, can sell it for 102, so... Not uh, lying. So, I want to see if it does anything. The... 35, 38, 25, 59. Not here. Character wise. I don't see anything. I'm not sure though. Nice. Oh, that was one skill point and... Uh, wow, that was good, okay. That's 10 points for general. Alright. Lapin spe... Alright, I'm not sure I can actually do anything with that now, but we'll see. I may have... Uh, Screwed up the quest already. Let's see if we can uh, try to steal the tavern. I never remember where it is. Don't see the ring giving me anything, but I don't know. That guy may be full of shit. <laughs> Alright. Let's save it. And try it. I can't try it again, I guess. Oh, that's crap. Probably I can't do anything with the wine either. I wonder if I can tell these guys about uh, the raider. Probably not. Yeah, I don't see anything. Hmm. Killer. I missed the healer. I was wondering about how do you get healed, so let's check that out. Who the hell is my... Killer. Big uh, letters. You can't miss it. What the goose? 40 Imperials? Get them! They're fleecing me. Everybody is fleecing me. That's expensive as hell. Tip don't get hurt. I don't think I have alchemy, actually. Yeah. A bunch of squatters here. I look to the seller.
Hmm. I think this may be another uh, way into Adidas. That's deep. Hmm. Design is strange, but it looks like some type of pump. Glance back at the drain. Hey, look. I don't have the intelligence to do that. You mean I'm, I'm dumb? I'm dumb, okay. Uh, whatever. Six intelligence, that is not that bad. Right, I think, anyway, I think this is uh, another way to enter the... Noble house, maybe. And if not, I can't do anything about it because I can't, uh, you know, fix it. But that was random. Just, you know, came here for... Yeah, I think it's, that's a way in... Anyway. For nothing, I was looking uh, around. It wasn't at the map either, so... Perhaps I need to do some more exploration. Oh my god, really? <laughs> this place. The Science of the Empire, okay. The house you support. There's only one true house, and that is Zalatan. House Aurelian, when have they ever done anything? Ha! It was a third rate house that never amounted to anything other than Sezim Madoran. As for House Crassus, it was a house of Magi. Good for fucking things up. And little else. Think as how the magic is gone from the world, they are useless as tits on a bull. I wonder what happened and the magic went away. Huh. That though wasn't worth five uh, Imperials. Stop broke. I need to stop uh, paying people. I don't want to join the Imperial Guards. No. Let's uh, look around. See if we can find anything else interesting. I 
As you walk down the street, you see a young woman running from a dragon mercenary. Please, you must help me, cries the girl. The merchant takes another step towards and the girl darts behind you. The bitch owes me money. Eight Imperials. It was success. You have a feeling that something is wrong. Yeah, especially how she went behind me. Suddenly you become aware that the situation is, isn't what it seems. The mercenary's anger seems fake and the girl sobbing and clinging to you is in, almost, in an almost theatrical manner. You also become aware that her hands are too close to your money. Grab her. The girl senses the change in you and tries to jump back but it's too late. She tries to squeeze him out of your grasp but ends up on the ground looking at the dagger in your hand. Hand me everything you have. I don't have anything on me. It's in a house not far away. I'll take you there if you want to let me go. Too eager. The girl is too eager. She'll probably lead you into an abus. On the other hand, the stash is probably there too. No. That was fucking neat. That was a great interaction. I wish I was more confident in my combat skills, but I'm not at all. And it's uh, not like that I have any backup, I'm just... One guy, that's not good enough. Alright, there are the gang members there. I also don't want to mess with. I think in my next uh, playthrough, if I like the game enough for a second one, I'll try an assassin or something. I think this is it. anything else right well I guess I can try the bandit camp again although I don't think I can do anything different I upped my impersonate and my straight ways but uh, This is a very useful ability, certain ways. But uh, I already tried uh, to impersonate someone, so I don't think that will work. I don't believe they can sneak either. You need a lot of high skills to do these things. Oh yeah, I forgot about you guys. Well, I'm broke anyway, so. Alright, I have seen nothing else. Can you teleport? Yes, you can. That's pretty useful. What are the boatmen? Oh, the assassins killed. I'm not an assassin, so... But let's see. Ooh. Nice. Killed one guy. Really? I don't think I want to do the assassins. I 
Yeah. I don't want to do the assassins. So I will pass on that. Maybe another time, with another character. I don't want to get uh, the roleplay thing, and as uh, I probably can't uh, do it combat-wise. Maybe I could do it combat-wise, but it um, doesn't fit my character, so... What can I do with these guys? The game crash? I think it did. Oh, no. Alright. Let me end this episode here and we'll see if we can do anything in the next one. Otherwise, we'll go to the city. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time with more Edge of Decadence.